hello students today i would like to explain and i would like to describe about meager we all know what is meager and for what we are using this generally meager is meager is used to measure high resistance yani ki हाई रेसिस्टेंस मेजर करने के लिए मेगर को हम लोग यूज़ करते हैं और ये हाई रेसिस्टेंस होती कहाँ है जनरली ये हाई रेसिस्टेंस हमारे इंसुलेटर्स में होते हैं या फिर केबल्स में होते हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सी द कंस्ट्रक्शनल डायग्राम व्हाट इज़ द कंस्ट्रक्शनल डायग्राम ऑफ मेगर सो जस्ट सी ऑब्जर्व दिस सर्किट डाइग्राम this is a circuit diagram for typical circuit diagram this is a typical circuit diagram for a meager and it consists of two parts this part is known as movement system part and this one is known as hand driven this one is hand driven generator dc generator that means this is a generator which will be driven using our hand and it will generate dc supply okay and if you will see the moving system here uh, you can see that there two coils are there there and this uh, mc1 is nothing but moving coil 1 and this is mc2 is nothing but moving coil 2 and this two coils are placed 90 degree under 90 degree displacement that means the axis of this coil axis of this coil and axis of this coil between these two axis there is 90 degree displacement okay and this is the pointer okay this is the pointer this two are the magnet this is the permanent magnet and magnetic field is here and this is the scale zero to infinity ohms it can measure and this is r1 limiting resistor and this is r2 this is also remitting limiting resistor and the test object will be connected here so now we will see the working of meager how it is work so first of all suppose here no any object or no any insulator or no any test element is connected okay that means x y point is open so what will happen when we will drive this hand driven dc generator then what will happen this dc generator will generate some dc voltage and current and that current will flow in this way in this way and it will flow through only this mc1 moving coil and it will go like this then what will happen the flux here some flux is there that we can write phi mc1 the flux of moving coil 1 will create some deflecting torque on this pointer in this direction so we can write here td1 so in this direction it will create some deflecting torque and this pointer will move towards this infinity ohm that means nothing is connected here that means xy points or leads are open so definitely here no any resistance that mean open circuit that means infinite resistance so definitely this pointer will show of infinite ohm resistance okay so now we want to connect some resistor here so if we will connect some resistance unknown resistance or any uh, insulators or any um, cable if we will connect here then what will happen we will see right now 
so now this one is connected one test element is connected one test insulator or test resistance is connected okay so now we will drive this hand drive and dc generator so what will happen it will generate some dc voltage and current and that dc voltage and that dc current will flow in this way so some current will flow in this way and some current will flow in this way in this way in this way that means in this way also so one flux will be created due to the current passing through mc1 and another flux will be created in uh, will be created due to the current due to the current in due to the current in moving coil 2 so this flux and this flux so this flux will create a deflection on the pointer on this way and this flux will create a deflection on the pointer on this way so what will happen at a steady state this pointer will stop at a at a point and that point will give the measured value of resistance okay of this unknown or test element so in this way meager is working hope you understand or i am able to give you the exact working of meager that means how we are using meager or how the meager are work when we are using it to measure a resistance thank you very much